how's everybody doing today? Uh, as you know, Don Gio Gigante. Uh, this is La Cosa Nocha meeting. Talk about the mafia community and the ups and downs, of course. Now, a um, couple of you guys, I'm going to say, are very active and very strong. Uh, I give you respect because you're active. I don't give you respect if you're strong. It depends how you show your strengths. Some people show their strengths in the most coward ways, being like the best escape artist and stuff, such as this gentleman over here. I call him Houdini because he's like the greatest escape artist. So for we all know how Houdini died, correct? Anyways, um, I'm not going to be the one talking. Shut up. I'm not going to be the one talking mostly. I'm going to let you guys talk. Why? Because you're all dons. You all have a voice. I'm the ones I should hear the most and possibly the godfathers, which are the ones that have a commission and they deleted their own commission. Now, um, as you noticed, um, this anyway, gentleman over here is bothered. So this is how we're going to do things, things basically. basically. We're going to all have right, a talk though. about Cause basically cause what's going on in the mafia community, how to make it better, how to keep it logical, legit, mafioso. You know, we got the new DLC that just came out. Um, there's a lot of success with that. A lot of people are actually using those vehicles and stuff. A lot of people are not. But the most important thing is keeping it mafia. You know why? Because when you keep it mafia... That makes militaries and MCs want to actually join us. That's why there's so many mafias and not that many MCs are militaries. But they're all militaries who deserve the respect. Which I don't want to talk too much, so oh. um, uh, we'll do this the in MCs order. I'd give we'll go Don the Flame speaks first, Father Scaletta speaks second, Rizzuto's, and so on and so forth. And then after that, we'll bring up the rules. So we'll just bring up the issues that's bothering everybody from each family. So the Flame, you got anything to say? Yo, what is this with the problem, yo? How the fuck do y'all have a all randoms meeting every week? That's what I'm saying. You're fucking noob. Um, yeah, you're that whole like every week. Six years old and you're saying noob. Get the fuck out of here. Hold on, that whole... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I see what he's saying, though. See, the reason why I talk a lot in these meetings because I've... I'm active almost every day. All my guys are there every day. And I keep in contact. No, I host a meeting once a month. I think meetings should be once a month because it takes about a month to see if a family is strong or not sometimes. It doesn't take a week. A week, a family can shut down. A week, a family can start and shut down in that whole one week. I've seen it happen. Now, the thing about it is uh, there's these families that I give them respect because they have a lot of minutes because active does not mean meetings because you guys want to change rules and stuff. The rules will change, or the rules will, um, what's it called, remain this way until the third week of every month. We all agreed on that. Everybody in the last meeting agreed on it. The last third week of every month. That's the the, the third week of every month. That's Down the, the third does fucking not have Friday. Else the to third say Saturday, that meeting third change. All right. Um, another thing before I go to Father Scaletta, if you're not a a head of a commission. You should not be calling yourself Godfather at all. If you call yourself Godfather, then try to create a commission as soon as possible because the name Godfather means the Don of Dons, basically. And if you're not ahead of anything, you just started your family name as Chief Father. It's pretty stupid. And people still do it. It's because people who bless them or whatever, they don't tell them what to do. Um, every time I bless them, I tell them, don't put two Dons in the beginning of the family and don't put a Godfather. Um, make sure you guys have good it's names, better. you know. Is anything bothering you? Is he talking? Cars that we assassinated. Can, can we okay. That? Can well, we the DLC just gave something? us uh, a nice car to use. I like it. I like the Roosevelt. Um, no AP pistol. If you can assassinate with a Roosevelt, I like that too. No AP pistol. Anybody can whack with AP pistol. No AP pistol yeah. But then again, that means well, nobody should. You can just. You have to get out of the fucking car. Yeah, that's true, but if you can, like, why do you need to sit in the car how about this? The how about this, though? Look, how about this? How about, need for that? how about this? How about, okay, let me explain something. AP pistol is the easiest gun to use in this game. It's one yeah, of the no easiest ones. Shit. That's all your fucking guys use. No, it's not. No, they don't. Anyways, yes, um, I've gotten messages where the guy said he used the Mac, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about what gun can you use? Is the Mac a good gun to use, or is it too strong as well? Mac is uh, not too powerful and not too strong. I mean, like, not, par not too powerful and not too weak. It's between the middle. That's the best part. But in a car, anybody could do a drive-by kill somebody. We should be able to get out. So look, we already banned C4s from assassination, correct? We already banned those. So we banned auto shotties as well. Do you guys want to ban AP pistols? I'm okay with that. 
Oh, oh hell no, because dude, oh, next thing you know, no, in a couple no. more meetings, Thanks. it's gonna be only we can use our fists or something to assassinate. <laughs> Why are we banning so many weapons, yo? But that's the thing, though. That's the thing, though. Let me explain something to you, Rubino, Rubino, Rubino. Rubino, we're banning AP pistols because it's too easy. Auto shot is too easy. Um, C4 is too easy. So we'll we'll try to ban the AP pistol when we start voting. Um, the auto shot and the C4 are out of here. By the way, you guys do know that, right? It was out of here in the yeah. in the other dons. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it, that's it, for an example, listen, for an example, like the other day, fucking you said we. Now, now listen, Rizzuto, are you there? Yeah, yeah, All right, yeah. so what's been bothering you about the mafia community <laughs> that you would like to change? Uh, so, yeah. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Y'all need to, to, to bring ourselves together. Yeah. All, the <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me get a translator because what the fuck you just said? Like, I don't even understand. <laughs> yes, we, have to bring, we have to bring each other together. <laughs> I agree on that. I agree on that. You know why, too? Because I know this MCs always band together against us. We can never band together, even if we hate each other. Instead of banding together, we'll try to whack each other, even if MCs are around. And that's my problem. Like, you guys shouldn't be trying to whack mafias in a in a lobby full of MCs and militaries. You guys should wait till it's like a military, a mafia-filled game, and you know. Then you guys go to war. Because when there's mafias in it, that's fine. But when there's militaries and MCs, militaries and MCs are basically the same thing. I've seen MCs in tanks as much as militaries. I hardly see me on a bike. Have you? Have you seen any MCs on bikes, really? Dumb ones. Yep. <laughs> Dumb ones. They get shot off. <laughs> yeah, well, at least they're keeping it role play, you know? Their role play is not as protective as yeah, ours. but people for no reason, like just rolling up on people like a street gang. Okay. I have a problem with that. I'm talking about the problems with the families and the whole thing. Now, look, Rizzuto's right. We don't get along. We hate each other. It's probably because we all want to reach that top mafia, you know, that, that top mafia. We want to be the top mafia. But then again, you know. We do it in our own ways. Some of us do it with procedures. Some of us do it with tactics. Some of us do it even with TDMs. But yeah, I think in order to whack somebody, in order to kill another family, you have to have probable cause. Mafias don't go after each other for no reason. Sometimes they wait till that person does a stupid move and then they act. See, what I used to do when I started my mafia is I used to go to every floor. Is either a step ahead of theirs or a bigger step than theirs. So it's either ahead or bigger. That's all you got to do, basically. And honestly, I'm telling my guys, don't shoot any mafias unless they shoot you. Unless they're like somebody, like, no offense, but Skeletta, anytime I see any of you guys, they get, why would you do that? Like, I gotta hear his deep throw, and I don't want to right now. Look, just kick him out like we kicked out the other guy. I'm trying to get a Don in here, like an attack. <laughs> I'm trying to get done seven. All right, so real. What's your problem with um the mafias? Is because people talk shit during meetings. Yeah, people don't have respect and everything. See, whenever these meetings occur, I want to listen to what you guys have to say. But a lot of you guys like to stay quiet for some reason. You guys get mad at me after I upload the video, and you guys say, "Oh, all you do in your meetings is talk," because nobody's talking. If I stay quiet, I guarantee you, won't be no noise being said about anything in the community. But you know what? I'll stay quiet. Real. Anything else? Huh, Rio? Anything else bothering you? Oh, shit. What the fuck? Hey yo guys, um, that snipe just got kicked out of the game as you can see, um, people don't like him, um, I tried to tell him to chill out, but he wouldn't listen. Hey, down there, Garletto, that was a beautiful way to let me know you were trying to whack me. Garletto, get your ugly ass in here, don't be a bitch. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have shot at him, you dumbass. Alright, Warhawk, well, can you do me a favor? Please, I know. Okay, I was gonna say make like a tree and leave, but yeah, you got it. <laughs> okay, um, you read your texts, right? Alright, uh, well, we'll talk later. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go. Alright, gentlemen, uh, before we were rudely interrupted by, um, Mr. Forehead, 
and miss the down syndrome um i just want to let you guys know that uh my intentions is not to be power hungry or anything like that my intentions is to actually make this mafia stuff a lot better experience than it was in gta 4 you don't have mods anymore so take advantage of that but um we gotta do something about this passive mode shit we gotta do something about these hiding blip stuff we gotta do something about the weapons we use the cars we use um the way we carry ourselves as a mafia um the name changes and all of that i mean name changes is you you paid for the money you paid it then sure changing it to whatever but the whole having two dons in the same family is kind of annoying and all the other stuff godfathers when the family's not even the head of a commission you guys gotta know these things and um i'm not gonna be the only one talking so i'd appreciate if you guys start saying stuff so before we were really interrupted i think we were up to rio went let me hear about what gambini has to say talk okay Basically, um, men um, think they can use passive mode to get close to us and then turn off passive mode to kill okay. us. And they think it's legit. That's okay. That's no, 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 no. Okay. Just say this. Just say this, basically. Um, there's people that are not part of the mafia that are just hitman crews because they want to be mafias, but then again, they don't want to go by our rules. That's basically what's going on. They want to whack mafias, but they don't want to be a mafia. So um, we got to take care of that. And... The only way we can take care of that is by you guys not whacking no names, not wha whacking MCs, no, no, and not first. whacking first certain. First, assassination. The card you guys ask me, the card that you find on the street. We're not changing the rules yet. We're talking about what he's what? talking about. But we're not up to that yet. We're up to him talking, and I'm listening to what he's saying. He's Look, Gambini's just saying, basically, that people cannot do the jobs on their own. So what they do is they call in a fucking hitman. Now, that's fine. But the hitman has to have your gamer tag, I mean, your clan tag, in order to do a hit for you. If he does not have a hit, clan tag, your clan tag, he can't do a hit for you. I got, I got members that could do that for me. Exactly. Um, we all, that's his complaint, basically. The whole... If you're a hitman, you have to have the clan tag of the um the guy. You understand? If I send a guy to do a job, he has to wear my clan tag. I cannot send somebody that's in another crew or whatever, a gang or an MC or whatever, to do a hit for me, and he has he doesn't have my clan tag. That's a problem. So I'm not going to call it clan tag. I'm just going to call it my CF tag because everybody usually has a CF at the end, except for a couple of you guys. Um, but it's all right. Velachi, anything bothering you about the com the community now? Thing is bothering me how we're gonna go into these all dons meeting and change them. We're gonna use like every single fucking thing. I understand not using the auto shoddy and the C4. That's bullshit. But pistols, I don't agree on that. Gotta get rid of. Yeah, I don't agree on that either. We're trying to get rid of anything that's too easy or overpowering. Yeah, we don't need that. No, that's not There's not nothing better than the challenge for you. You know, when you use straight up DLC. That's perfect. Like I can't even argue about that. But when you're using like art, like stuff that just like doesn't even seem like something you should be using, it's too easy. The AP pistol is easy. I'm not gonna lie. But remember, any hit you did before, before this meeting, where AP is is already in, like you can't change that. But now we're gonna ban no. the AP pistol, and I think that's a good idea. But we're not talking about that yet. We're just talking about your problems with the whole community itself. If it is about, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Say Wait a minute, Velachi's talking. Velachi, what, what, what's the problem? Oh, well, first of all, this, this meeting too. I want these kids to shut the fuck up so we can do this. We're being Hello. disrespectful. Ooh. All right. Somebody talk, we have to talk. You're gonna be a don, chill. You're gonna be a don. Respect somebody when they're gonna talk. Sure, really, oh, too many immature. Hashtag follow this letter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, I basically said that's my problem, basically, taking away the weapons and shit like that. I understand. And it sucks, but you gotta understand something. Do you really want to get whacked by an AP pistol? It's one of the easiest guns to kill somebody with. Uh -huh. There was no such thing as no pistol that shoot automatically, was there? No, this, there was, but even in the game Mafia, in the game Mafia, there's an actually an automatic pistol in that game. But you're right. I don't like using it because I feel like it's too easy. When I feel like something's too easy, I try not to use it. So what I use is the Desert Eagle. Because if you get hit with that, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Um, 
But anyways, so you just have problems with the weapon changing. That's fine. We're going to vote on it anyways. Everything's like a democracy. We're not a monarch. We don't go by a king and a queen. We go by a decision made by a board, by a group of men that are basically going to agree or disagree to this. All right? That's the decisions being made today. And the reason why I invited a couple of you is because a couple of you are active no. members. Um, the reason for these meetings is to put an organization, to basically put order in this corrupt, you know, unorganized community that we've been, you know, notoriously known for. Now, um, what should I just say notorious for? Um, try to get more Donzi. I don't know all about that, you know, role play, then show it. I try to show it, but I know once I come out with a Roosevelt, I'm probably going to get hit with an RPG, so I don't try to risk it. But remember, guys, as Dons, you guys have the ability to protect yourselves with whatever. But not the fathers. You see, your name's Father Scaletta, not Don Scaletta. So I don't think you have the privilege to do that unless you guys choose who's the leader of the family. Because that's going to be kind of annoying that two people have the same ability. But anyways, um... All right, basically, Pirellos, you have any problems with the mafia community and how it's ran? All right, really, it's just that we starting to have a bunch of immigrants start faster as a thing. I like the way it's out. I like it how it was before, you know, back in GTA 4 days. But you know, you gotta deal with the change. No, I hear you. Ah, uh, you sound like Obama. But um, I'm gonna just say this though, like. The change is bad and change is good. Change is bad in a way that it fucks everything up from what it was before. It's not original anymore. Everything has changed. But change is good in a way that it's like, you know, it basically makes people understand that they can't just whack anybody. They got to actually be part of the mafia to do it. If they do, then it's like, you know, they don't know the rules. They'll try to learn the rules and that's fine. But I figured, like, just keep it mafia. That's it. That was the idea about it. Nobody wanted to assassinate before. I remember when we used to assassinate military, they used to bitch about it, saying that we're not mafia, what are you doing? And he's like, you know what, you're right. You're absolutely right. Because when I was in the military, I wasn't allowed to assassinate mafias until I got permission from my general or whatever, you know. But, um, yeah, I want things to restore back the way they were. But it's up to you guys to do that. It's not up to me. It's not up to the guy next to me. It's up to you guys. So... Right now, we're just talking about, this is what I wanted to do. This is why I didn't want to start the voting yet, because not that many people are in here. But um, I think it's best if we have 15 people, so if it, it's e uneven, we can vote basically on either or. Now, um, you guys are going to choose on what we should change or what we should keep the same. A couple of the uh, issues brought up was on um, what? The AP Pesto. See... You guys think of me as probably somebody that likes to use anything to get a kill and stuff. And I'm already disagreeing with an AP pistol. As easy as it is, and as much advantage it would be to, for me to use that, I will disagree on it. Because I do want to get used to using the other guns. Alright, now listen. Um, Alright guys, so everybody, nobody else has anything to say, correct? Everybody here is, understands the rules. Everybody understands. What's going to be changed about a couple of minutes, right? Everybody agrees? Everybody understands? I don't really agree, but... You don't agree? Who is it? Valachi? Valachi. Like I said, everybody's going to vote on everything. Um, Everybody's okay with... We're going to do it now. So everybody's okay with the whole no super cars, no hiding blips, yes. no passes. So right. Okay, gentlemen. I feel like... We don't need the AP pistol. AP pistol is fine to kill with, but not assassinate with. Now you guys didn't, you guys don't understand what I mean by role playing, and and keeping it mafia. Now, once you die in the game, you can use whatever, right? Because you died. There's no, you're not gonna assassinate anybody. But if there are people that join your game to whack you, either try to hide from them or kill them in the most legit way possible. Unless you're a Don, and a Don can use whatever the fuck he wants because the Don is the boss. When you play a video game, the boss is the strongest powerful member and the strongest powerful person you have to verse usually when you play a game. So that's how it is in here. You're going to verse a guy that's either armed to the teeth or, you know, strapped up. So anyways, um, that's that basically. You guys don't have a problem with that, right? Basically, Don is all for one. That's how we play basically this, all for one. Everybody's for the Don, correct? Everybody agree on that? 
about can I say something like I uh, like I before uh, like I brought before up uh, the tanks and guarding people that shouldn't be allowed. I'm just saying because that's Agreed. Just not right. You Agreed. You, use, you want you said you want to because you shouldn't use armies or MCs to. But that's the thing though. What if the MC or the army that comes in here? What if the army doesn't like them? Like I had the army in there, right? It wasn't really the army. It's just this guy. He's a military man, and he doesn't like Skeletas. So I told him. What's it called? Are you cool with Skeletor? He's like, fuck no, I hate them. I was like, all right, do what you want. But just try to, you know, like, not get too close to us because we're going to try to, like, take them out ourselves. And then he did what he wanted. But the thing is, that doesn't mean you could do what you want. You get somebody in there that's military to take care of them. If you don't have somebody to get somebody that's so not part of the Skeletors, you brought another Skeletor in there to use a tank. That makes your family look bad. Because when I record, it's going to show Warhawk, who is a m fucking military man in a tank. Against what was his name? Vito on the whole tank thing. I don't like it. I don't think anybody oh, yeah. should be in a tank. I don't think tanks should be used at all, or jets, or military vehicles at all. Like you're not supposed to use a buzzard. I don't care if you're just flying it. Don't use it because if I see a guy in a buzzard, it's gonna make me think, okay, he's gonna use that on me. I need to get a buzzard as well, or I need to get something else. A tank, definitely. And I've never been in a tank, so what the fuck are you talking about? Or a jet? I don't even know where the fuck you get a jet. I know where you get a buzzard though. But anyways, um, Annihilator, mm, alright, be honest guys, Annihilator, I have a problem with it in a way, but then again, it is a bigger helicopter, so it's harder to land on rooftops and stuff. I mean, I don't like it, you know, I feel like it shouldn't be used, but, but sometimes that's the only helicopter I can get inside the, uh, Hella Tours. That's the only helicopter I could get in the Hella Tours, is the, um, Annihilator. That's sometimes the only one I find there, but, um... I'll try to just get the frog or the maverick. We'll keep it a frog and maverick. Um, all right, guys. So you do know that the C4 is banned, the auto shot is banned, and the AP pistol. You guys are gonna choose Anyways. right now. See, Genevieve's. I don't take him seriously. I, I invite St. Genevieve's in here to prove a point, and he proved it for me. As old as he is in the mafia world, nobody really gives a shit about him. They just want to kill him because he keeps hiding. That's it. But um. My thing is, he's going to still use tanks. He's not in this meeting. He's still going to use his tank. He doesn't give a shit. But um, we're not going to talk about him. We're going to talk about everything, okay? So, guys, right now, we're going to choose on AP pistol, yes or no. Yes to the window, yes. no to the wall. Okay, now, if you guys want AP pistol, to the window. If you don't want it, to the to the table. Uh, Whoever picks AP pistol, damn, this dude's full of blood. <laughs> you see him? <laughs> All right. So you guys are all agreeing to ban the AP pistol from drive-bys, basically. Like anything, just using an AP pistol at all. Right? There's a majority on AP pistol saying basically no on it. Now, the ones not stay here, stay here, stay here, stay, 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 stay. Rio, yes or no on the pistol? You're not special, dude. Get off the table. You don't do voting, real. Then get out of here, real. I need people that are gonna vote. Oh yeah. You like a small little thing. Oh no. Whenever you vote for the president, you let you let them hear a debate first. Why would you vote for something without someone talking about it? Okay, we're talking about it. I'm saying no. I don't want the pistol because it's too easy of a weapon to use, and everybody uses it. When you start seeing people use the weapon too much, that means it's too easy. Now, I think yes, because it's still a legit weapon. It's a pistol, you know? Like, you can't go wrong with it. But at the same time, everybody uses it. So I think because everybody uses it, I don't want it anymore. If you don't come off that fucking wall, go ahead with every single one of you. <laughs> Wait, you guys all want the pistol? That's what I'm saying. Get the fuck off that Where is shh? Hold on. You guys all want the pistol, correct? Yeah, we want the pistol. Okay, so you guys all still want to use the AP pistol, and if you get shot by an AP pistol, it's legit. All right. Decision's been made. I mean, even though it's still going to be... But no, 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 no. This is not because it's going to be used afterwards. If somebody uses the AP pistol after this, it won't count. That way we can start using the other weapons, such as the mag, the p other pistols. Nobody touches those weapons, and it's like they're getting cold and dusty. But whatever, you guys choose AP pistol, you choose AP pistol. I'm going to try to use other weapons now. But anyways. Yeah, yeah, anyway. Answer me this question, guys. 
Do you guys want people outside the family to perform hits? Oh, no. Yeah. I, I think they shouldn't oh. be. No. Wait, no way. Time. No yeah. to the bong. No. no to the bong. Whichever yes to the wall. Talk. Why are you inviting Don Jake Alvino? Who the fuck invited him? He's been around for like two months already. What do you mean? It doesn't matter. I've not seen him not once and neither have a couple of you. So what the hell? Uh, well, because he's starting up his family still. He's bringing in more members. You don't All right. So guys, you guys do agree that, um, what to call it? People out of the family should not do hits, correct? Yeah. People if there is somebody you're recruiting, make sure he has your crew tag. You understand? The reason for this is because then anybody would try to plan a hit. And anybody that kills you that didn't die, they'll probably call him up and say, Hey, look, you didn't die yet. Go to your apartment and say you sent my regards. That shit yeah, annoys me. Now look, guys. The car is allowed to use for assassination is basically anything but a supercar. I want to ban supercars and, s and modern sport cars. I want to ban any modern car to assassinate because most of them are faster than a police car. I managed to whack people with a Roosevelt, a fucking tornado, and a peyote. If I could do that, you guys can do the same. I don't see what's the problem with it. But you guys choose right now. If you guys want to keep it classy and just use, like, certain cars and stuff, that's fine. Go to the, go to the bond. But if you guys want to use, like... The cars that we basically banned already. I mean, the cars that. Which is the sport cars, cars, and go to the window. I'm gonna go for keeping it classy, and I basically can whack you with any car. It doesn't fucking matter what it is. I could probably take you out with a scooter. Gotta think about that though. Now. These families wait, wait. have entities driving around regards. Yeah. Okay. What I want you guys to do is what I did. Um, a couple of these guys have entities because they want to do the um the money glitch. I don't know if it's anymore. But other than that, um. If somebody has an entity, this is what I do with like 16 of my members. I went into their garages and saw what kind of cars they drive. Um, a few of them had entities, adders, and stuff. But when I go into free mode, I tell them not to use it. Make sure you tell you guys not to use it then. We just agreed on it. So no sport cars, no super cars. We're just going to kind of keep this as classic as possible. The fastest car that you should drive that's probably a classic is maybe a Monroe. Oh a Monroe? A Z-Type is fine. People are complaining about Z-Type. How does Z-Type not hard? It's just annoying sometimes when I see the Z-Type coming at me. Remember, you're done. You can blow up the Z-Type. It doesn't fucking matter. Um, <laughs> what? <gasps> Z-Types have... We never had a problem with Z-Types. We all agreed on it. It's a mafia car. It looks I mean, beautiful. Z-Types, they're good, but, like, the windows in the back are too small, so you can barely get any. But the windows in the front are huge. You can, like... Yeah, but true, but the head's slanted down, so you can't really get... Can you really way. drive backwards with a Z-Type? All right, whatever. You, 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 you're special. All right. Um. Now, guys. Um. What else? Okay. So, guys, look. Let me explain to you right now. Let me just do a recap. So, you guys are gonna use AP pistols. I'm gonna probably try to avoid using that now. I'm gonna try to use the other pistols probably, cause AP's too easy. Maybe the Mac. But you guys agreed on AP pistols. You guys disagreed on um anybody out of the mafia or anybody out of the clan, the crew tag. Whatever can do hits for you. That means anybody, any MC, military, don't matter what they are, mercenary, they cannot do hits for you. It's got to be your family and your commission. Literally any fucking what the hell? Did you see that light that just shined? Yeah, it's the it's the police on the top. Okay. Now listen. Um, what else are we talking about here, guys? Think about it. Anything else we missing? Anything else? Alright, hold on. Hold on a sec. Okay, what happened? What did you say, Rio? Alright. So here, I'm gonna go through all the rules with you so you guys know. And this is something I'm gonna bring up because Rio did it. As a Don, you are the leader of your crew. You're the head of the mafia. You are basically setting an example for the rest of the mafia. If you break a rule, it penalizes your whole mafia, such as those guys are not considered legit in that free mode. But if they break the rules, they're not considered legit in that free mode, which means they shouldn't be able to assassinate on anything in such mafia ways because they already broke the rule. But once the Don breaks the rule, it fucks up the whole family. Now... People say I break the rules because I use an RPG, 
to kill somebody. But that's only because I see you in a car that I feel like, you know what, if I shoot at it, I'm probably going to not be able to get you. So I'm going to hit you with this RPG. That's fine. You can use RPGs if you're a Don. You can use any weapon if you're a Don. Get creative. There's sometimes when I throw a fucking sticky on the floor. Wait maybe a couple of seconds, and then the guy hits the area where the sticky's at, and it's perfect. I get him perfectly. Now, um, these are the rules, basically. You're the Don. Anybody breaks the rules, there's penalization. Sorry. You will be penalized. If you break a rule and you didn't die yet, you're not allowed to assassinate. Any mode, such as being on passive mode. When you get in the game, make sure you take yourself right off passive mode. Hiding your blip at all times. I'm talking about people hide their blips after they kill somebody and think it's legit. It's not legit. Because if you need to hide your blip, then obviously there was a problem going on that you wanted to try to, you know, get rid of. If you need to get rid of something or you need to make something happen at that moment to change the whole game, then obviously it shouldn't be done. What do you mean, who? People do that. People hide their blips and stuff right after they kill somebody so you can't chase them. And that's stupid. But anyways... Um, try to keep it legit, guy. Try to keep the mafia, uh, uh, keep it respectful. You don't like somebody that's fine. Um, shutdowns I made because the mafia wants to shut down, not because he assassinated him four times or whatever. Um, keep this in mind. If you want to whack a guy that's in your family, try to do it in a private lobby. Don't try to do it in an open lobby because then it just stirs up, like, confusion within the whole, like, mafia world and stuff. Like, I've seen a couple of guys whack their buddies in, like, open free modes, and I'm like, you know, that's the worst thing to do. If you do it in a meeting, that's fine. You know, you take care of your own personal business in the meetings. Everything that's just re everything that's personal, you take care of meetings. Anything that's business, you take out in, in the free modes. You understand? Um, TDMs are not a big issue for mafias. You can basically be a mafia and not play one TDM and still be pretty good if you know what you're doing. Um, the compounds that you choose. Um, people get mad at me because I'm in the airport and that's my compound. My friend showed me that. I like it. It's also good for people who hide their blips. They usually pop up when you when they're um what to call it when they're driving too long in the airport. But if you guys do have a problem with me being in the airport just because you feel like it's not role play, I'll tell you this right now. Um, people did business with people in like the airports and stuff to like basically move cargo and stuff. But whatever, you know, that's your guys. You guys try to tell me that it's not legit to be in the airport, but yet you're still trying to take over the compound and then send messages out. Big Leon, I'm just saying, giving you as an example. I run the strip club. Okay, then, there you go, you run the strip club. Well, I could tell just by the way you dress, you run the strip club. But anyways, um, so guys, you're going to avoid sport cars, you're going to avoid supercars, you're going to avoid any modern car. There's a car that actually people have no problem driving, it's called the Jackal. It's actually a pretty fast car for a four-door. I'd probably try to say avoid it. If you're going to drive a four-door, Roosevelt's are fine, fucking... There's a couple of cars that are fine that are four doors, you know. SUVs are fine, but there's a couple of SUVs I think they have like something that hides the back. Yo, what about a tailgater? I don't know what that is. It's Michael's car. No. You can't do that. A death. A death, okay? Once you die, that's it. Doesn't matter how you die, you die. It's your fault, nobody hey, else's. Can you buy me to your apartment? That's oh, off rooftop? Shut up, man. I'm talking. I, sh I fall off. This stuff, and I get pissed off because I feel like if I never fall off that rooftop, I would have killed somebody. But a death is a death. Now, there's a, s a scenario where I was in a game, and I was in my compound, but I got pushed out of the compound and then killed right after that by someone who didn't die in the game. The reason why I didn't consider it legit is because the guy that killed me in the compound hit his blip. Once the guy hides their blip, that person that he's responsible for, or that person who he's responsible for, it goes on to the whole fucking thing. You understand? Like, Skelettas, if they're in a game, and we're, we're in a game with them, and they hide their blip. Anybody hides their blip in Skelettas, that person right there is considered <laughs> illegitimate. Now, so if it's the Don, if it's the Don, no, it's an example. Shut the fuck up. So if the Don hides his blip, right? It, if the Don hides his blip, it's basically the whole family that has to pay for it. We all agreed in this other Don me that you want to penalize people that break the rules, correct? Now, oh, guys, <laughs> I wanted more people in here, but for some reason there isn't, and that kind of sucks. But um, I'm just going over the rules. So that's it, basically. Mafia, keep it legit. Keep a role play. Don't let other people try to tell you that, you know, what you're doing isn't legit. 
you guys heard the rules. You guys know the meeting. See what this kid's doing? He's just mad because my girl whacked him. You can't die at all in that game. You have to join the person's game to whack him. You can't rejoin. They'll know if you rejoin sometimes because it says they left and stuff. I know if somebody rejoins. Because I look at the lobby list right before I join. We're looking at recent plays. Um, I guess, you know, I'll tell you guys to dress in a suit or something like that. Uh, Skeletta, this is not for you to talk about me or me to talk about you. This is for us to talk about everything. So shut the fuck up until. Hold on, I just want to say something. I just want to say something. Okay, why do you have the right to make the rules of your family? I'm not making the rules. I'm just letting everybody know what the rules are that we agreed to already, kid. Shut up. But your family break the rules, though. No, they don't. I watch them every time I'm in a free mode with them. Shut up, man. If they break Hold the on, rules, they do it when I'm not there. I don't care. When I'm there, they don't do it. Chill the fuck out. Your family's the worst. Oh, well, thank you for that information. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, kid. You have no type of success. Okay. That's why you keep changing your I game attack no every time you get whacked. Okay. Okay. Oh, shut every up. Whacked. Now listen. Now listen. The only reason Skeletters are still around is because we're getting members and stuff. That's it. It's not because they're strong or anything. If you lose a TDM, it doesn't matter. You, you can still be in a, a great mafia. If you get whacked in a, a free mode, that determines who's winning that free mode war or not. These free mode wars last about four hours. If I whacked every Don or got every Don in that game whacked and I leave, doesn't mean they push me out. It means we just got them hit. Now, um, what you got to do is you got to stop trying to get personal with people because the more you get personal with people, it shows how bothered you are by these. I, mean, I don't get personal with any of these guys. Even if I know your whole name, which I think I know Father Scaletta's whole name or Donna Scaletta's whole name, even though I know your name, I'm not going to tell anybody. It's nobody's business. But you guys got to understand something. Keep it mafia. Keep it role play. Don't try to hide your blips. Don't try to run around. Oh, by the way, we just banned sport cars and a um, whole bunch of other cars. Basically, you can drive classic cars, old school cars. Um, hey, Don Gio. I got a question. So, um, on my Don Carlisi account, um, I'm Donis Carlisi. Who are you? I'm listening. Anyways, anyways, uh, on my Don Carlisi account, I had to remove my two credit cards, oh my God, so I won't be able to cool. use it pretty soon. But um, since I'm level nine, because I just made a, a character on this account, and I don't have an apartment, so like, say that I assassinate somebody, where do I do now if I don't have an apartment? Uh, get a get a buddy in there, right? Uh, once you whack somebody, you drive to his apartment and tell him a bu and buzz him in, buzz you in. That's what I did with my guys when they didn't have apartments. I had to buzz oh, them right. in. It's, it's, it takes a while. I have enough money. It say takes I have a enough money to buy a garage, but not an apartment. Can I still go to that garage? If I have garage. To buy a garage mm. We'll put it like this. Uh, it's better that you have an apartment. Because a garage is unexpected. And I remember somebody tried to whack somebody in my game and go into a garage. Thing about garages is right. nobody knows about the garages. People just started. Then everybody's gonna buy a garage now, and then you'll never know where they're gonna go. You know what I mean? So hey, right. hey, hey, hey. just try to get an apartment. Why? How much money you need to get an apartment? You get a cheap one. I need mad money, bro. I got like ten G's on me right now. All right. So play this mission <laughs> called <laughs> play this bro. mission called Coveted. It gives you twelve thousand every time. You do it ten times. There you go. Get your apartment. Um, now listen, um, guys, you guys all know the rules, um, don't hide your blips, don't go on passing mode, um, oh, I want to make this clear, if you're on passing mode and my guys join your game or anybody joins your game to whack you and they hit you with the car and kill you, that's legit, why? Because you shouldn't be on passing mode to start with, we're gonna start doing that, anybody disagree, by all means let me know, okay? What the, if somebody's on passing mode, do you think it's so fair that- I agree. All right, so if you guys think it's fair yeah, that um, if somebody's on passing mode and you hit them with a car because they're too stupid and, you know, they don't want to get killed, I guess, go to the wall. I mean, window. If you feel like you need passing mode is um legit and whatever, you know, if you get hit by a car, it doesn't mean anything, you can go to the bottom table. Hold on, say it again, say it again, say it again. If you want, use you want passive mode, mode and not be able to get whacked pretty much. Yeah, yeah so if you want us if you want to go on passive right mode and that person runs you over that's considered an assassination because hey, one he didn't yeah, hey, 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 I see this yeah. right here. Hey, I'm going to take a picture y'all. Y'all stand right. Y'all stand like that. I like that. I like that. That's nice. All right, now, Cavalcante, Rosetti, and this guy, I don't know what his name is. Want 
it to still assassinate even though they're on passive mode. Go to um the window. Man, I'm taking a picture, nigga. Can you keep but you can't, oh, well, hey, you can't, well, you can't, again? you can't blade them though. You can't blade them to assassinate them. You can only um, oh, uh, what's it called? Hit them with a call. Hey, 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 hey what was so, the thing again? Shut up. If somebody's on passive mode, shut up. Kid. You can still assassinate them by running them over. You know how when people go on passive mode, you want to kill them. You can do it, you know. Right. If you agree to this, you'll be able to do it because then pass them on. Listen, um, MCs are not allowed to assassinate not that militaries. They do other things. I don't know what the fuck they do. It's none of our business. We're a mafia community. <laughs> um, you guys cannot use most of the cars that you use. You can't use entities. You can't use, you can't use super cars, sport cars, modern cars. There's like a whole list of them. I forgot where to find the list at. Actually, no, it's in here. Actually, I'll check it out right now. I'm gonna make a video about it. Okay. I'm gonna make a video about this whole fucking rule thing. Anybody's gonna go by it, correct? Cause you all agreed on it. Okay. Um, no hiding blips, no passive mode. That's the don't know. Um, it doesn't matter after you kill somebody and you le smack like whack them legitimately. Once you hide your blip, that's it. Doesn't count anymore. Once a don, once a don, once a don breaks the rules in any type of way, like let's say Don wants to um go to pass him on and stuff like that, his whole family is considered illegitimate for that session. And, and probably will have to go to another session. You guys are probably not going to agree to that and stuff, but I don't know. Hey guys. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Brian, um, Brian and Ben uh, lead a game. And tell him, when y'all go to party chat, tell Lil to lead a game. Now, um, what else are we missing, guys? Um, Anything else am I missing here? Am I missing anything, Hold on, I got guys? a question. So say that when you assassinate somebody, right? Like right when you kill them and you go to your apartment, do you have to send out a message or you? How oh, do you that do that? thing. Like, okay, I record, right? So yeah. what I would do is I'll whack somebody, leave, and just make the video, and you'll see on your own. But um, if right. you want, we'll do a, a rule that basically you can't. What's it call it? You can't assassinate, right? Go to your apartment, come back out, kill somebody. Then let's say. You go back to your apartment, oh then you come back out again and die. Once you die in the game and you never left, that's it. You died. It doesn't matter who you whacked. The message you right. send out, you have to send it out right when you're about to leave or right after you leave. I think it's better if right. we send it out right before you leave. Like, that would be the best thing. Right. So if you stay in the new rule or is that something you're thinking? Well, we've been saying that, but people not listening. You got to leave the game. Right. That's what the assassinations were in GTA 4. That's what they are in GTA 4. The right. point is an assassination is determined by leaving the game. The reason why you leave the game is because you shouldn't have a second chance to assassinate somebody so fast. You should actually wait because sometimes the lobby gets full and you got to be patient. You'll get your shot right. again. If you die, it's okay. You already killed him and left the game. You finalized the assassination. That's that. Now, no hiding blips. I'm serious about that, guys. I don't care if you died already. Don't hide your blips. Don't go to passing mode. I was in a fucking game with, uh, was it Reaper MC? And they hit their blips and stuff. And they were trying to say that they had blips. But it's whatever, they're an MC. I don't care. Um, what's it called? What else? Nothing, guys. No buzzards, no jets, no tanks, no cars that you can't shoot through. Like, no no armored cars, like armored trucks and stuff like that. Um, You guys probably see me in an armored truck because we can get armor from it. Hence the word armored truck. But, um, I'll just use it. <laughs>